Welcome to the EDISS Connect New Provider Registration Part 2 EDI Registration for Neridian Medicare Portal Access Only Tutorial. This tutorial will walk you through the second part of the EDI registration process so that you can register for your Neridian Medicare Portal Access, also known as the NMP. Please keep in mind that you will need to submit claims to Medicare and receive a remittance advice or an EOB before you can register for the NMP. You will be required to provide the check number and dollar amount as part of the verification process. Now that the account has been validated, please click on the login link in the validation email to continue. The username and password created in part one of the registration is what will be used to log in. Once logged in to EDISS Connect, the next page will display five security questions to select an answer. Security question answers must follow the below guidelines. For security purposes, sessions are timed and all questions must be completed within three minutes. Security questions are not case sensitive. Each security question can be used only once. The same answer cannot be used for multiple security questions. Answers to security questions must be at least four characters long. When answering security questions, you cannot use any of the words in the security question within your answer. An example the question is, what city or town were you born in? The answer, Panama City. If an answer is too short, an error message will be displayed at the top of the page in red. EDISS strongly recommends that you print the page for future reference and distribute to staff who will be addressing the account. Once all five questions have been answered, click Save Answers. It's important to keep these answers and questions in a safe spot. They are used to assist in accessing the account by answering the questions. Click Confirm Security Answers to continue. Click Continue and you will be directed to the Provider Dashboard. At any time, you can update the company information by clicking Edit Profile from the home page. Next, click on Add Transaction. To the right, Frequently Asked Questions are a quick reference that answer questions specific to the step or page you are on. Enter your 10-digit billing or group NPI number. Enter the tax ID, your ERN, or SSN number. Dashes should not be used. If there are additional billing NPIs for the same state and line of business, you can click on the plus sign to add additional NPIs. Once the NPI and tax ID or SSN are completed, you will click Continue. At any time, additional NPIs can be added to the account by again selecting Add Transaction. If multiple NPIs are added to a single account profile, a billing group number will be assigned to that account. This billing group will be utilized by direct submitters, those not using a third-party billing service, for transmitting or receiving electronic data via a network service vendor. Network service vendors provide a secure connection for conducting business with EDI. At any time during the Add Transaction process, you can go back to the previous step by clicking back. However, if you have not yet clicked Continue on this page, your information will be lost. The left column will show all the states that EDISS conducts business with. To select your state, highlight the state and click Add or drag it over. The states you have selected will show up in the right column. The Remove button can be used to move a state from the right column back to the left if selected in error. Once all states have been selected, click Continue. Check only the options Professional, Institution, and or Dental that apply when selecting what type of transaction you will be submitting. Transactions are the type of work you will be utilizing EDI for such as electronic claim submission or electronic remittance advice. Check all the specific transactions that apply to your NPI. 
the states will display from the previous step, and then you will check all that apply. When all lines of business have been selected, click Continue. The EDI enrollment form will be agreed to electronically. To view the EDI enrollment form, click the EDI enrollment terms and conditions link. To accept the EDI enrollment form, check the I agree to the EDI terms and condition box, then click Continue. Click on the small box under Enroll to add a check mark to the 276 transaction. There are other transactions available for you to register for, but only the 276 transaction is necessary to register in NMP. You will click on the small box next to I will, and or or, click submit at the bottom of the page to finish adding the transaction. Once part two is completed, a summary of the transaction that have been set up will display with the ability to print this page for your records. From this page, you will have the ability to print any completed forms as well. Once you are finished, you can go to the Manage Transaction to view what is set up in the profile account or add transactions to add additional NPIs. An email will be sent for each transaction to the contact listed on the account profile when approved. We want to allow two business days from when you receive this email to register in the NMP to ensure that you don't encounter errors. The email will come from adminnoreply at neridian.com and the subject line will read EDIS Connect, Transaction Production Granted. The production slash approval status can be also monitored by reviewing the transaction on the Manage Transaction tab. Each transaction will have its own date of production or approval. A few reminders for registering an NMP. You must receive this production email which confirms you are set up with EDI. You will need your EDI submitter ID, which can locate on your account homepage after you receive this email, and you need to send claims to receive a check number and a check amount. Thank you for reviewing the EDI SS Connect New Provider Registration Part 2 EDI Registration for Neridian Medicare Portal Access Only Tutorial.